assalamu alaikum all welcome back to my channel i pray that you are all in the best of health and iman and i pray that ramadan is going well for you guys so far now today's video is going to be five things that i am recommending for you guys to try to do in order to have a productive ramadan during the time that you are on your menstrual cycle now we all know that you do tend to get a blip during this time sisters i'm sure you can all relate especially this year mine has fallen right in the middle of ramadan so not only am i struggling with the mid ramadan dip i'm also struggling with not fasting during this time so i hope that this will be beneficial for you guys and without further ado let's jump straight into the video okay the first recommendation that i have for you guys is to continue to wake up just before fajr so 10 15 20 minutes before the fajr adhan goes on wake up as per usual and make some time to make dua if you have children or you have to prepare um, suhoor for your family alhamdulillah that means you're already awake but please take out at least 10 to 15 minutes to sit down and make dua and ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that you want and also just to show gratitude to allah for the things that you already have this is very very important guys because it means that you're still maintaining your ramadan routine in one way or another but also that you're maintaining that connection that you have with Allah by making use of that time before Fajr. So this has been really helpful for me. It also means that by the time I get back into fasting, that I won't struggle with waking up before Fajr because I'm already used to it as I was doing before the cycles came in. So I highly, highly recommend this. 10, 15, 20 minutes is good enough just to wake up, sit down, make dua, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that you want and need. My next recommendation would be something I normally always do and I highly, highly recommend it to you guys. That is listening to Islamic lectures. I can't tell you enough how beneficial this has been to my life period whenever i find i'm not listening to enough lectures that's when i find my iman dipping guys i highly recommend listening to islamic lectures irregardless of what you're doing around the house just carry your phone all over the place you know just if if you have alexa in your home you can ask it to play certain playlists from from your phone from youtube that you may have created for yourself just always make sure you're remembering a lot in one way or another it's very important. I know a lot of people say for some things you should sit there and really think about the words and so on and so forth. But listen, for lectures, you can listen to them as you do your daily chores. You can make dhikr as you do your daily chores. Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allah akbar. You can do these things as you're doing your daily chores. It just reminds you of Allah. It keeps you focused on the fact that it is still Ramadan. So I highly, highly recommend um, listening to Islamic lectures during the time that you're just doing or going about your daily lives even sometimes when you're sitting on the bus on your way back home from school on your way back home from work on your way back home from uni make sure you're listening to islamic lectures throughout the day whether you are on your cycle or not but specifically when you are on your cycle because it really will help you to remain connected so we can't just touch the mushaf and read from the Quran any way that we like to. But one of the things that you can do is to repeat from someone who is also reciting. So for some of us, one of our Ramadan goals may be to memorize a certain chapter of the Quran or to practice our tajweed, so on and so forth. You can go onto YouTube, find videos of other people who are who have read those chapters of the Quran or you can find teachers who are teaching Tajweed and as they recite with Tajweed, you can also repeat and recite those ayahs of the Quran. There's nothing wrong with um, reciting through memorization or repeating after a teacher the verses of the Quran. So that is a really, really good idea. You can find loads of videos on YouTube about Tajweed and how to recite Quran properly. And as they recite, you also repeat and you follow along with them. And that is a great way to also read the Quran during the time that you are on your cycle. My next recommendation is to make use of books of a hadith. So what you could do here is during the time that you normally read Quran, you could read books of a hadith in that time instead. So for example, if my goal, for example, is to read Quran for minimum 15 minutes each day, well, I can't um, physically well, I can't physically touch the mushaf right now. So what I will do instead is read 15 minutes of books of a hadith. 
That way I am maintaining my habit of sitting down to read for that amount of time and I'm still gaining something beneficial. It's just that I physically can't touch the mushaf. Do you understand? And so we're finding an alternative to replace with it, but we are maintaining our habits and we're still remembering Allah. So of course, there is still so much reward to be gained through it and so much knowledge to be acquired through these books. So I highly recommend making use of reading books of a hadith during the times that you can't touch the Quran. So when we are on our cycle, a lot of us make use of the fact that we're eating and we have a little bit more energy to kind of top up on the cooking that we need to do um, during the month of Ramadan. So if you're bulk cooking or you're going shopping and you're buying bulk amount of foods and so on and so forth, perhaps this year think about giving away some dry foods. Now, because of the pandemic, I wouldn't recommend you give cooked food to people, but you know, whatever works for you. But think about giving dry maybe some canned goods, some rice, or so on and so forth. Do some charitable deeds, guys. It's so, so, so important. So I would highly recommend giving away some food this Ramadan to people who may need it. It could be your neighbor, it could be a friend, or it could be someone far away or a charitable organization that you can find to donate food to. But I do highly recommend that you guys try to do that as well. Another good deed that I think could be done during the time that we are on our cycle is to just use that energy extra boost of energy that we may have if we're not struggling with the pain um, and just use it to do a little bit of decluttering and give away some of the things that we have to other people so that they can benefit. I have touched on this before so I'm not going to go into it too much but a lot of us have so much more things than we need and we can always do with giving away some of our things whether it be um, clothes or whatever it is, okay? It can be people who are close to you, people who are further away from you, whoever you want to give it to, just do and increase the amount of good deeds that you are able to do. I think I have saved the best till last. This tip is life-changing if you can apply it, guys. You will feel so good after being able to do it. So this is about making dhikr during the time of Tarawih, for as long as you would normally stand in Tarawih for. So for me, normally I would go to the masjid and the timing between me praying Isha and completing Tarawih might usually be 30 to 40 minutes. So I've gotten into a routine of sitting down and making dhikr for 40 minutes. What I do here is I set my alarm for 40 minutes. I sit down and I make dhikr. This type of dhikr is the one that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that it is light on the tongue, but it is heavy on the scale of good deeds. So I can't pray salah, which is the second pillar of Islam. However, I can still up the scales of my good deeds by making dhikr. Okay, and for me, this is the best. Being able to sit down for 40 minutes and make dhikr, I don't do this on a daily basis. So I find this to be one of my achievements for Ramadan, especially the time that I am on my cycle for. So if you have a group of family and you normally pray tarawih at home with everybody else, the minute they make wudu and they start praying, go and find you somewhere to sit. Not on your bed and not on the sofa. I don't want you anywhere near somewhere where you're going to fall asleep, okay? But find you somewhere comfortable to sit down and start making your dhikr. Do as much as you can with your hands because on the day of judgment, you know, our body parts bear witness to the things that we used um, our body parts to do. So that's the amazing thing. And also that is what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam recommended is to make dhikr and count using your actual fingers but as you guys can see i'm doing this for 14 minutes so after a while i get tired so i flip over to the tasbih and then when i feel i'm okay again i go back to using my fingers but i highly recommend using your fingers as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said so this is it guys i do this for 40 minutes and once my alarm is done i am done if you are at home when everyone is finished praying you can hear the voices everyone's talking again you know that that is your time 
and you two are done. It is far better than sitting there watching TV whilst everybody else is praying and things like that because those are the kind of things that just take us off track. So I highly, if you take anything from today's video, I highly recommend this, guys. If you normally spend 15, 20, 30 min minutes in Tarawi and you are on your cycle, set in the alarm for that time, sit down and make dhikr for that time. I'm telling you, it is super refreshing and it makes you feel so good that you are packing in so much reward for the sake of Allah. So that is it, guys. Those are the recommendations that I have for you. It's all about maintaining your habits and doing something during the times that you would normally be doing acts of worship when you are fasting. It's all about that. If you can maintain those habits, but just swap it out with some few other things, then you will be fine, inshallah. So Jazakallah hey guys for watching this video. Inshallah ta'ala, I will see you guys in my next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.